and on McAllister Street in San Francisco. I'm going to have a good time, celebrate with friends. Yeah, that, that's what I plan to do for the next thousand days. My plan is to <clears throat> live to the millennium and beyond. I have absolutely no plans. <laughs> Some people have to plan. There are reports that the change over to the year 2000 will wreak havoc on the world's computers unless someone comes up with a way to make the electronic brains recognize the number double zero. Back at the Millennium Restaurant, executive chef Eric Tucker is already giving some thought to December 31st, 1999. Well, between now and then, just to continue what we're doing, um, we're putting on a cookbook next year, so that should be a lot of good exposure for us. Um, continue to refine our type of cuisine, and I guess we'll have a big party, um, big vegan party, that is, on, on that New Year's Eve. If you're planning a special celebration for New Year's Eve 1999, you might want to make your reservations right away. Some of the country's most popular New Year's Eve spots are already reporting getting close to booked up. And for purists, we want to point out that 2000 is not the new millennium. It's actually the last year of the 20th century. The 21st century doesn't begin until January 1st, 2001. Greg? Well, regardless, it certainly is going to be a big party. All right, thanks a lot for that live report, Craig.